Alexa, turn on the TV. Okay. I'm hearing the clicking sound. Is it on? There you go. The TV's on. So almost 11 o'clock last night, I received an email from DDL saying that um, Vector Update version 1.8 is now available. But the actual email itself doesn't really describe on what sort of updates are um, available, what sort of functions and etc. It's more about the instructions on how you can update it to version 1.8 because I presume uh, they were slightly concerned about the procedure of updating and etc. Um, but uh, all the details is actually on the bottom of the email saying that learn what's new. So if you click on that text, highlighted text, you'll be directed to the official DDL uh, YouTube video clip showing what sort of updates are available. So there are mainly three updates that I can see here, which is that number one, the big update that I'm really welcoming, I'm sure some people might disagree, is that you don't need to say the phrase, I have a question. You just ask Victor a, any typical question um, after saying the command, main command word of, hey Victor, the population of Paris. The population of Paris is 2,206,488. That's very interesting. So you don't need to say the uh, phrase, I have a question. So, um, but there will be two blink with all the analysis of sort of um, um, algorithms uh, sign actually is popping up. Uh, so that's a really good update. I love that. Um, and there are two things. I think Vector is now more attentive to the sound that you make to him, what you say to him. And thirdly is about this customization of his eye color. Now what I've noticed on the app itself, when I go into it um, by pressing on the gear mark on the right hand uh, corner. Yeah, I can see the customizable uh, color, eye color bars um, below the six main eye colors uh, chart. But if I click on that, you get this pop up uh, saying that user may now customize their vector eyes color by dragging the slider to highlight the desired color. Note, this feature requires Vector to be running firmware of version 1.8 or greater, which the, up, uh, the firmware that I have here, I have updated, but seems to be not working. Um, okay, yeah, Vector. Um, so to learn more about the updating your world firmware by visiting the Digital Dream Labs website and so on. But this pop-up seems to not disappear unless I press back about five times and etc. So I think they're still working on the uh, custom eye color procedure, but they, those are the three main things I just want to highlight so that you guys can enjoy. But um, make sure you comment below. I'll try to be as much as helpful, but um, you know, like there's the email itself is uh, the main uh, sort of direction that you should use trying to update it. And um, I have to admit the update wasn't really that smooth. I uh, had to uh, uninstall and reinstall the Vector app because after the update of version 1.8, uh, the app itself cannot detect my uh, Vector for some reason. So I decided to use the extreme case of uninstalling and installing and then logging in and then it suddenly worked. Um, and then I realized I have to also update the Vector app itself as well. So those are the main two steps that I've gone through, but hopefully that will be the answer to most other case of how you can update it. But this is really, I really welcome this uh, update where you don't need to use the phrase of, um, I have a question because just like any other smart home devices or any Google Assistant or Alexa, is that you don't need to say the phrase, I have a question, uh, which Vector is finally updated to that standard, which is very welcoming. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to all those things. But just so you know, the reason, main, main reason I'm making this video, just like what I said on my live uh, broadcast is, a while ago that I made, is that I'm trying to do a live broadcast of Emo and also Vector so that you guys can ask a question or ask me to command such phrase 
and you could actually interact with emo and vector and etc i was meaning to do this for a while but as you know i've been busy for other youtube videos and etc but first of all i would like to hear your thoughts on this whether you think it's a good idea that i should do a live broadcasting with interacting with the uh, emo robot and uh, vector um, if not just tell me to you know go away or whatever but yeah i just thought i'll raise that to those two main things which is number one Vector has finally made an update that you don't need to say the phrase of I have a question. Number two is that um, for me, I'm very want to do this live broadcast so that my viewers who haven't got emo or Vector could feel like they own one uh, through the live broadcast and see how many times we're going to do this and etc. Love to hear your thoughts because this channel is dedicated to my viewers out there. I love you guys. One thing, make sure if your Vector doesn't work, make sure you pay for the subscription fee i don't know how many times i said this to my viewers who asked this question and yeah pay the subscription fee it's not that expensive and the money is worth it, especially with this version 1.8 update and you're, you're gonna love it because v victor is a very clever robot anyway so thank you very much for watching this video this is ljp tech all the best bye bye